Well, researchers in China have discovered a strain of coronavirus that caused 100% mortality due to late stage brain infection. They know this because they put it in humanized mice and played with it. They messed around and found out. Uh, humanized mice, you guys, we're gonna get to what that is in a second. This is, to be clear, gain of function research. When you have something and you mess around with it to see what happens, that's basically gain of function. It's happening in China. It is incredibly dangerous. Could this be the disease X that the Davos crowd is going to discuss this week at the World Economic Forum? Recall last week we went over the Davos agenda that's happening. It just started today. And we found this panel called Preparing for Disease X. AstraZeneca's CEO will be on the panel. So will Dr. Tedros from the World Health Organization. Uh, they're saying disease X could be 20 times more fatal than COVID. And so they're prepping for it. They don't know what it is but they know it will be more fatal. Is that a wish list? Right. How do they know that it's going to be more fatal? I I mean, it's like the American, uh, I mean, Congress passed a bill recently about disease X. Like they are, U.S. Congress back uh, about six months ago passed a bill, a resolution on disease X. Okay. The, for the rollout and preventability of this highly deadly disease. We so don't they know, know what it's coming. it is yet. We know it's coming. But... They're, they're preparing us, they're tempering our expectations with fear. Uh, so the WHO is warning about this. Um, and again, they want to solve this. It says here with collaborate surveillance. That's what they think they need. Uh, and in fact, today, something that Tony Blair had said is, we need to know who's been vaccinated and, and how many times because you need to keep getting vaccinated all the time and we need to know how many people, how many vaccines the people you're talking to and around you are in buildings. We're going to bring you that clip later this week because uh, he's got some balls. He's got some bullocks to say that. Or I'm going to no, I'd like to say it differently. Can I just rewind? Um, that's bullocks. Huevos. Huevos, no, I, I really want to pull off the bullocks. OK, do it. That's OK. I can total do it. bollocks. Total bollocks. No, that's that's not. You make fun of me for my my like British accents. That's yeah. like it's I don't know. Spolex. No. That's, I really want to be able to pull that off. I'll work on it. Okay, you know what else is bollocks? I'm going to tell you what else is bollocks. Um this paper here that I'm about to show you. This paper comes out of China just early January 2024 showing that scientists accidentally found a strain of COVID that was 100% fatal in transgenic mice. Hold your questions about transgenic mice. Uh, see here, they're warning about the spillover risk, but that's only a concern because it was created in the first place. If they hadn't created it, they wouldn't have to worry about it spilling because it otherwise did not exist. This is not like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Like it didn't exist and now it exists and that makes it a danger. When it did not exist, there was no risk of observing a spillover. Right um, now, it didn't seem like they created on purpose. They were doing gain of function research, which basically means they were manipulating diseases. They found this one in a pangolin. This is a pangolin. Look how cute he is. Uh, Dr. John Campbell's channel about this. He claims that the pangolin is a highly abused species in laboratories. For whatever reason in China, they like to experiment on this guy. I don't like that. Uh, he's like a dinosaur. He's a living dinosaur. He looks like a little. Uh, what is it? Uh, what was? The, what's the one that has the tail he, with the ball on the tail? I, I used to love those. The. Um, well, know. he looks like he's doing an Oliver Twist sort of. Please, sir, can I have some more? Yeah. You know, like, You're going to experiment on me. Please don't experiment on me. Can I have I don't a? Can like I have it. a biscuit? Can I have a biscuit, please? It's total bollocks. Uh, okay, so this little guy had some COVID. Basically, the pangolin. They took it out. And they cloned it in a lab, and then they put it into transgenic mice. Now, what is that? That is humanized mice. This is mice that is injected with human DNA to see how they react and if they can maybe extrapolate what happens to the mice with what would happen 
uh, in a human. Here's how one laboratory that uses these explains it, that you can, you know, target specific genes to a study. You can replicate certain characteristics. Basically, we can experiment on them and it's all good. And we can extrapolate, like I said, what happens to humans. Now, I, I just wonder, given that we're making these humanized mice, are we worried that they might mutate? Ever heard of Master Shredder? Uh, right. I'm just curious. Shredder. <laughs> or, or not Splinter. Shredder. You it's mean Master Splinter. 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 Master yes. Master Splinter, yes. right? Um, is this a concern? Humanized mice? Anybody? <laughs> no? Okay. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. If if humanized mice is a thing. I didn't think we were going I didn't think we were going to get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reference into And a show. wrong one too. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm very excited that we did. Okay. Um so let's look again at, at this case. When the humanized mice were injected with the pangolin COVID, they got here a late stage brain infection and died. I love that they use the word surprisingly. Like, oh, we didn't know this would happen. We were just effing around. Uh, surprisingly, all the mice were infected with the live virus succumbed to the infection within seven to eight days post inoculation, rendering a mortality rate of 100%. The mice began to exhibit a decrease in body weight starting from five days, reached a 10% decrease in the initial weight by day six. By the seventh day, the mice displayed symptoms such as piloerection, hunched posture, sluggish movements, and their eyes turned white before they died. What the F? Oh my God. Uh, do is... you want this no. happening in the world? You're gonna, it, it's the zombie apocalypse. I know we've always, you know, sort of joked about preparing for the zombie apocalypse, but Bill Gates now has his wish come true that you know, we're gonna have people walking around where they're gonna start to see their eyes roll back and you'll just see the whites of their eyes before yeah. they, they. They become sluggish and they're losing weight and their eyes are, there's no pupil in their eyes and then they die of a flesh eating brain infection. What the heck? Uh, okay, here's what they conclude. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first report showing this strain of COVID um, can cause 100% mortality in these mice, suggesting a risk of this spillover to humans. Now, they do say they don't know for sure that that would happen to humans. That's what happened in the humanized mice. Thankfully, they haven't tested that as far as we know. Um, here's another kind of strange things I want to point out. Here are the researchers that wrote this paper saying, we did this, just want you to know. Um, okay, they're all from this uh, Nanjing University in China. And then it said also contributed these email addresses down below. Anything stand out to you about these email addresses given that this is in China? Uh, they're all Gmail accounts? Yeah. <clears throat> and there's a New Jersey, is that an educate? No, China, that's a Chinese college and then gmail accounts yeah um gmail's blocked in china who's who's doing that who who are those people right that's weird yeah uh, so I, I don't i don't know how to explain that i huh. just wanted to point out that that's strange that it's this university and some people with a gmail uh clearly not in hmm. china or at least not from china i'm just i don't know i'm, I'm curious um so why are they doing this? Why is this allowed? Uh, and could this be related to the unknown disease X that globalists are anticipating? Uh, I would like to show you the assessment of John Campbell on his YouTube channel, but it was removed for unknown reasons. So I'm going to play it safe and let you know that you still can find it in other places. Um, he surmises that the only real reason to be doing this, to be mucking about, as he calls it, uh, would be weaponization of a virus. There's, a, he can't see any other reason. Obviously, I don't work with these types of things, so I don't see a reason either. Um, but again, that he's calling this a new brain virus that turns your eyes white before you die like a zombie. Let us know what you think, and if you agree that it is total bollocks. Uh, unbelievable, and poor John Campbell, I mean, I mean, YouTube removes that, but it's still on Rumble, I guess. So you can see, seek it out, I guess. 
in those places. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.